Hello friends, welcome back. It is June 1st. I cannot believe how fast this year is going already. So I am going to take you on a tour today of my garden. I did not do a planting vlog this year, but I do want to show you my garden, how it's doing. Um, I have added a lot more flowers to my garden beds this year, mixed amongst the veggies. And so that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about, and that is cottage style gardening. So over here, you guys have seen these before. I have a ton of chives, and not just here, I have them all over in my yard. I let them reseed themselves wherever they want, and they are amazing pollinators. So I've got blueberries right above them, and they're doing great, but I want to attract those you know bees butterflies and even beneficial wasp are attracted to your chives so inside my garden i have um, freed up two extra planter beds and that's by just moving some things but my raspberries are doing amazing underneath them i've got a row of cabbage and I have marigolds mixed amongst there. And I've talked about marigolds before. They're amazing in your garden. Um, we've also added some hanging baskets. So I, what I have in them are wave petunias. They're just now getting started. Can you imagine how beautiful these are gonna be later, a couple months from now? But I have wave petunias and nasturtium. So normally I have nasturtium in my flower beds and I do in a couple of places. But, so I'll talk about the nasturtium first. Um, the nasturtium is edible, both leaves and flowers that look beautiful in salads. Um, and if you've never eaten them, they're very peppery, tasting like, kind of like a spicy radish. Um, but they detour squash bugs, beetles, and they make a great ground cover. And the marigolds attract ladybugs which eat aphids and we want that in our garden they also repel rabbits and they do tour mexican bean beetles squash bugs thrips tomato hornworms and white flies and a lot of the flowers that i'm putting in here are going to attract hummingbirds which eat white flies so even if you can't at first see i do have marigolds sprinkled amongst everything I also have alyssum planted, uh, just kind of mixed amongst everything. I've got it by my celery, um, my peppers, my cabbage, and they are, I, I love alyssum. It, to me, it smells like the summer lilac. But we've also moved our strawberry beds. Uh, my husband built me these, they're kind of a, strawberry walls. I've got one on each side. Now this is the door that leads up to the chicken coop, but my strawberries aren't doing amazing and I'm happy because I freed up a raised a bed for more veggies. So what I've got planted in the garden bed that these strawberries came out of is a variety of different veggies, but I've also got a row of cosmos. I've got the alyssum underneath the cabbage. I've got a row of zinnias and more marigolds. So the cosmos is going to attract beneficial bugs like bees for pollination and green lacewings, which eat aphids and also hummingbirds. And like I said, the hummingbirds are going to eat the white flies. Um, the zinnias are also gonna attract pollinators like bees and more hummingbirds. The alyssum is my favorite. The white color is best. Um, it does come in purple too, but white is best. And first thing I wanna say is it is edible. Both the leaves and the flowers are edible, look beautiful in salads, and they actually have a very similar taste as the nasturtium, kind of a peppery taste. But I would say if you're gonna grow it to eat, then grow it from seed. It actually grows really fast. Um, don't buy it from the nursery because they've got all kinds of other stuff on it. So it's going to be a natural pest control. Um, it's perfect for like a ground cover to keep down weeds. Uh, it's a good match as far as roots for most vegetables because they're a very shallow root. They're not going to interfere with your plants growing. And 
they actually attract ground beetles and fireflies and both the larvae of these insects hunt and eat slugs so that's a huge benefit because slugs slugs love your garden so another great flower to have in your garden is lavender it's going to detour deer and it has such a strong scent um, it repels ticks and green cabbage moths and to an extent it can also repel mice so something that i would plant outside my garden but not in the garden is calendula because it repels some garden pests that attack like asparagus and tomatoes but it attracts other insects like aphids so when you plant them somewhere outside of your garden it kind of draws them away from your garden and all of the other beneficial insects that you have around your garden will eat them and get them before they get your garden. <laughs> okay guys, I hope this was helpful and of course I hope you're having a great day. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll get back to you. Okay, talk to you next time. Bye-bye.